take off your thinking caps because we're playing Link's Awakening. Alright, so in this episode, uh, we are going to actually move to a new area. Uh, so now that we have the power bracelet, we can lift all sorts of things. We can lift these, we can lift cuckoos, and signs, of course. Wait, I'm pretty sure we can lift signs. We can lift them in Oracle of Ages and or Seasons. Huh. I guess we can't lift signs. Alright, I guess that was added in Oracle and or Seasons. So, that's a rock we can lift up. Yeah, anytime you see those rocks, those are... That's a, a power bracelet puzzle. Alright, we come in here and... Uh, immediately think to get that chest, it's like, oh, I'll just push it to the side, but no! There is a pit there, so you will not be able to push it from that side. The way you do it, you actually have to come over to the other side, grab yourself a nice fluffy guardian acorn. I don't know why it's fluffy. If your acorns are fluffy, go see a doctor immediately. Anyways, you need to push this, and then you get yourself a nice 50 rupees, which is good because... Well, we were running a little bit low on rupees. Alright, so... Hey, what's this thing? Whoa, it's a cannon! It didn't do anything! That will do something later, but it was important that I used it once right now. And ow! Flying Octorok! Get out of my face! Okay, fine. I, I don't need you. Alright. So, pick this up, smash it, and go the right way! Alright. So, yeah, there is a fourth secret seashell that I want to get over here. Just a few more odds and ends before I go into, uh, well, get the cave for, get the key for the next dungeon and go into it. Uh, in this little patch of land here, there is our next secret seashell. Alright, and that'll probably be the last one for a decent amount of time. Which, well, it's the end of the string of secret seashells. Secret seashells. She sells seashells down by the seashore! <laughs> by the amount of time you say secret seashells in this game, it begins to become quite a tongue twister. Well, I guess you're not saying it if you're just playing it. <laughs> but if you're doing a playthrough of it, you are going to be saying it quite a lot. Alright, no, I already have the power bracelet. Alright, so we come in here. And, lady with rats. Okay. So, what's your deal? Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. Hmm, I'm listening. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret. <laughs> Apparently I'm listening intently. It looks like it looks like she's whispering in my ear by the way I grabbed her using the bracelet. Anyways, uh, we want we want crazy uh, Tracy's secret. Alright, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all your hearts. Drop by again, big guy. Alright. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Oh, I guess she said that. <laughs> Crazy Tracy, your voice got very deep there. Okay, so this... Uh, this Crazy, Tra Crazy Tracy's tonic, or medicine, or whatever you want to call it, it basically acts as a fairy in a bottle. So, if we drop dead, it will automatically fill up all of our hearts. Which is very helpful. That would have been so useful in the last dungeon. Being that I would have been able to beat that stupid genie even on my crappy emulator. Uh, and this game wouldn't have had to be cancelled. Uh, but still, that emulator wasn't really that useful for... I mean... I don't know. I'm just glad I have this. Anyways, here's something neat. The camera shop! So... We come in here, and we talk to the guy. I just love to take pictures. Will you let me take your picture? 
Yes. Go to the back of the room and stand in front of the screen. Hmm. Hey, I haven't taken your picture yet. Go back and stand in front of the screen. All right. Well, uh, I guess there's, I guess I can show it uh, in a little. Oh, okay. Okay. First off, this guy's gonna take our picture. So we come back here. And I'll call this "Here Stands a Brave Man." Say cheese. And he snaps a pic of us. What's your name, young man? Link? Well, here's your album, Link. Give it a look before you leave. Let's see if we can fill that album. Alright. The Travels of Link. Do you wish to look at your album? Let's look. Which pic do you like to see? Use the arrow keys and press A button. Alright, so there we see our, pic our picture. I'm pretty sure this is exclusive to the DX version, and it was something you could use with your Game Boy printer, which was a thing. So if you take a picture, then you can print it out, and it, it's, an, it's a neat little anime picture of, of Link, and I don't know, I like it. Now there are a bunch of pictures that we need to collect. Uh, so at points when we go throughout the world, uh, we will... Uh, the mouse will appear, and he will take a picture of us. And I'll be getting... I'll, I'll try to show off all of the pictures. There are some that I can't technically get. Like, both of. Like, okay. Uh, for example... Well... Alright, uh, let me just show you... Yeah, Zombies! Okay, let me just show you here. So, when you talk to the mouse, you can either get one of two pictures. I sh already showed you Here Stands a Hero, but let me show you the second one, when you say no. I just love to take pictures. Will you let me take your picture? No. Let's take a picture. No. Let's take a picture. I said no. Let's take a picture. Stop pushing me around, man. Let's take a picture. I don't want to take a picture. No picture? Are you pulling my leg? No way, dude. What a bummer. Ow. You hurt me. Beautiful. I'll call this game over. What's your name, young man? Link? Well, here's your album, Link. Give it a look before you leave. Let's see if we can fill that album. Ow. Oh. Alright. So, we look at this, uh, the album, and we see... Which picture would you like to see? Yeah. And we see Game Over. Of <laughs> Link passed out in the corner. So, yeah. It's, it's a little weird when you... It's a little weird when you start off with with this with the mouse because he kind of like he kind of shows up out of nowhere when you want to take a picture you'll you'll see in a minute he kind of comes out of nowhere when you want to take a picture and he kind of forces you into it so it just kind of makes him look more like a psychopath than a nice guy who wants to take pictures so, yeah, I'll, I'll go back to the other thing. Okay, so that one I cannot actually get. Because, well, as you saw, I pressed no. You have to press no to get the being thrown against a wall game over picture. Uh, but if you click yes, you'll get here stands a hero. So I'm gonna go around and show off a few photos. Here's one next to Bow Wow. That, there we go. Hey, that looks great. I'll call it Link plays with Bow Wow. Now get closer to Bow Wow. Arr. Link, get closer. Uh, looks like we're starting to piss him off. Arr. Much closer. Okay, I'm ready. Smile. 
Here we are. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> and there's a picture of Link running away from Bow Wow. Alright, uh, the next picture is in here. We talk to this old man. Uh, um, how to say, please call outside. It seems that old man Uria, wait, Uria is a shy person in person. Alright, so I guess we'll go out and look in from the outside. Oh, hey. Hi, it's me, the photographer. You seem curious about Grandpa. Wait, let's see. Ulrira. Grandpa Ulrira. I'll call this Link Discovers Ulrira Secret. And it shows he's shy in person, but when you talk to him on the phone, he lightens up. A lot like me. I'm kind of shy in person, but if you talk to me on Skype or something, then I, I lighten up. Okay, wait, where's the shop? Because that is a picture that I want to show. Okay. So, if you go into the shop, we'll see, first of all, that there's a bow and arrow for 980 rupees. But I'm kind of short on rupees. Especially since they're inconsistent, since it's a different thing. So will go and... Is this really this expensive? Bow and arrow set. Only 980 rupees. Oh, I can't afford that. So, there is something you can do. If you take this, run around and confuse the clerk, you gotta make him face his merchandise, you can totally jack it! Guess what? You got it for free! Are you proud of yourself? So, yeah. I... Kill. <coughs> Yeah. Sneeze there. So yeah, we got the bow and arrow for free. Uh, it's basically you just equip it, press A, throw an arrow, and you've got a limited number. I think you can get some. I think you can get arrows out of plants and underground and stuff. But what I really want to show is if you go back in. I wasn't kidding when I said pay now. You'll pay the ultimate price. So he goes, he uses a Kamehameha wave and freaking toasts you. It is one of the coolest and craziest things in the entire game. You actually get a game over. You do get to keep the item, and you can see he sells arrows now. But another thing about this, let's just talk to her. I just love to sing. What can I say? What do you like to do, thief? Yeah, your file name will be changed to thief. And throughout the entirety of the game, everybody will refer to you as thief. So, yeah. Uh, when the next episode rolls around, I'll have not done this. So my file name will no longer be thief, and I won't have the bow and arrows. I'll buy them legitly at some point. Once I get enough rupees, but ugh, that's a that's a lot of rupees. But uh, before I end this off, I want to go to the picture guy and show the thief picture because he was secretly there and uh, crows. He was secretly there and he took a picture of it of us. If you did the thief thing before you even talked to him, he'll just have it in his album. So he's always watching you even before you've met him. Travelers of Thief, do you want to look at your album? He even changes the name. Alright, so we go over and see number seven. And look at us. The guy's looking the other way. There's even a sale on bombs and some stuff written in Hylian. Wait a second. If there's stuff written in Hylian, why is bomb sale or sale bomb written in English? Weird. But anyways, you can see Link looking shady just walking out with a bow and arrow in his in his shirt pocket, I suppose. So that's a little interesting uh, thing you can do, and that's another picture that I showed off. And that's all the pictures for now. In the next episode, 
we will actually do a little bit of story progression. So, this is me, Thrasho2, saying, Be cool, save often, and don't do anything I wouldn't. <laughs>